Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's Kita again. I'm here with another Facebook try. How y'all doing during this quarantine time? Like, it's been real hectic for me, y'all. A um, little bit about me. Single mom, three kids. 13, 11, and three. Three-year-old is back in daycare. And... She been doing pretty good with it because everything is so structured. Take their temperature during, um, right, well, right before they come in. They take their temperature, make sure everything is good. And no parents are allowed inside um, to keep as many germs away. So it's cool. And then um, tomorrow, my son goes back to school and he's autistic. Wilson. You hear about Wilson all the time because it's my bumpy. But yeah, like his class, the way it's structured, it's like maybe nine kids in there. And hey, Wilson. Hey. <laughs> I'm but here. Yeah, I see. There's like nine kids in his class and maybe three of them are coming back to school. So we'll see how that works. I might think they'll be fine because like it's really hard for them to go to school online. So I can just only imagine um, kids right now and just not having their face to face. And I know it's dangerous and everything right now, but they'll be the only ones in school, the teacher, um, and maybe it's two other kids besides him that'll be um, in his classroom. But his classroom was already kind of like uh, small. So it wouldn't be, they can still social distance is pretty much what I'm saying. They can still social distance if all the kids came back in classroom. But for now, it'll be him, two other kids and a teacher because they really do need that one-on-one -on -one, um, speech therapy, occupational therapy. It's hard to do that type of stuff over the phone, especially with kids who um, have short attention spans. like. I feel for the parents out here who have more than one special needs child because I'm struggling with the one, y'all. So, more power to y'all and sending nothing but love, light, and blessings to the parents out here doing double duty working and um, getting the kids in school. So, I'm sending y'all positive vibes. Send me some, too, because I, I really do need it. Really do now. All right, so let's get to the product here. So today's product, um, something I bought on Facebook again. <laughs> um, it was called the um, what is the name? Asland. Anyway, it was a poly nail kit. This was, I think, nineteen ninety nine. And it comes with everything. So let me open this up for y'all so y'all can see. Because um, on Amazon, the poly nail kit was about $60. So I just was like, well, I guess I can buy it on here for 20 and just have to wait. So I'll tell you everything it comes with. This is the Cleanser Plus. It removes excess gel and it enhances shine. And y'all, I've never done poly nails before. So me trying this um, is gonna be new. Now I really, I do my nails on my own. I, I know how to do just acrylic nail and I also know how to do the uh, gel nail. And then, um, what's the other one? The, uh, the dip nail is what it is, the dip nail. I know how to do those on my own, um, but this is new, poly gel is new to me. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and this is the actual poly gel that comes with it. And then this is, what is this? Now, y'all ain't never opened this up before, but whatever. When I find out what it is, you'll know. Okay, so this is the gel, the color gel. I'm trying to get y'all a good view. Soak off. 
UV and lead gel polish. I'm not sure exactly what that is yet, but we will find out together. All right. And this is something looks like the same thing the other one was. Let me see. All right. This says it's a color gel soak off too. Maybe it's different okay. colors. Let me see. Does they say the same thing? So let's open it up and see. Okay, that's clear. All right, let's see what this is. It's clear too. So maybe they just gave us the same two, two of the same things. We'll see once we get to the directions. And that's another thing, y'all. When you buy stuff off of Facebook and it come from other countries, sometimes the directions be in another language. So you pretty much got to figure it out on your own. Hopefully these came with directions. Okay, so this is the actual um, UV LED nail um, lamp. So, I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good. And what is this? Okay, so this looks like the, the little brush. And then, I don't know what this is. I guess this pushes the cuticles back. We'll see. All right, and I will say the packaging was pretty good, but when it got to me, it was all beat up. I don't know if the weather was tow up when they delivered it or what, but the, I ain't even bother keeping the box because um, mine was tow up. All right, and it comes with all the nails. And it comes with Oh, Lord. What this thing called, y'all? A nail filer. I had a little brain fart. <laughs> All right, so, um, I don't see no directions. So, uh, we gonna see how this work. All right, what kind of charge is this? So, I'm gonna go get a different charger. Once the time comes to use this, but... It, it didn't come with no directions, y'all. Um, like I said, that's the risk of ordering stuff on Facebook and it comes from different countries. Um, sometimes it doesn't come with directions. But this is my first time um, actually buying something off of Facebook and it don't come with directions. Um, the last couple of them have, but um, I guess I finally got that one. It don't come with directions, so we finna figure this out together. Cause it can't be, it can't be too much different than doing the other nails. But with all these ingredients, well, I don't know, y'all. I don't know how this gonna work. So this what we gonna do. I'm still doing it anyway. That'll make it interesting. Something new. All right, y'all. Okay, so let's get these nails open and I'm gonna show y'all. Let me bring it. So let's set this up. And y'all, I have a big nail base. So I usually use zero on my thumbs so i'm looking for the numbers okay here they are because i'm like i can't see and y'all i'm so blind i'm going um definitely get my eyes checked this year it's on my to-do list and y'all i don't even see no zero in here like my fat thumbs i might have to improvise you know my fat thumbs just look at this y'all look i got big nail beds and they short but i'm gonna work it out i normally do and that's part of the reasons why i started doing my own nails anyway because i do have really fat thumbs in here 
let me direct y'all back up here because what I'm finna do, I am going to look up how we do this since it didn't come with directions. And we just finna shoot the breeze until we find out what's going on. So y'all, I'm finna sit here and watch this. I'll be back with y'all. I gotta make sure I do this right because I ain't trying to turn my nails up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get my book and I am going to write down the directions so I won't forget. All right, I'm back y'all. So I got all the directions on how to do this. So let's do this. And I will say, this look like this might be a game changer. This might be a little bit easier than poly gel. Uh, not poly gel, y'all. This might be easier than dick nail. I'm loving this pen, y'all. How cute is this? And look at this. I just have to, I have to show y'all my set. Like, I'm a rainbow girl. If y'all haven't realized that right now, I'm rainbow here. My hair is rainbow. And I'm going to also show y'all my rainbow. I'm a rainbow fanatic. But anyway, this book I got from Five Below. It's so fluffy and it's so cute. And look at the little ears. How cute is that? And I got this from Dollar Tree. So y'all, I was ecstatic when I got this set. So you probably will see this in my videos because I find any excuse to use it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's get into it. All right. So let me adjust this for y'all so y'all can see. see. All right. So, and I'm gonna do close-ups like this so y'all can see what I'm doing. So for the first step is to trim cuticles, remove shine from the nails using a buffer. All right, so, <laughs> yes, buffer Wilson. Not the buffer for the video. I mean, buffer for the nails. All right, and I had already previously clipped my nails down because I usually do whenever I'm doing my nails. All right, so we're going to just, um, we're gonna just use this and get the ridges on the nails. And this is to make sure that the fake nail sticks to your nail. So we got that done. All right. So after that, we apply base coat to each nail. I have to cure it under the lamp for 30 seconds. So, so I'm gonna paint my nails. This stuff stank, y'all. But most nail products do, to me anyway. Right, and I'm doing hair at the time. So this has a little button here. You press that. One, two, three, four. It kind of burned under here too, y'all. It kind of do burn. But I'm going to stick it out. All right. Now pour, next step is to pour the alcohol in a little tub. All right. And this is used to um, shape the poly gel. So let me take this out of here again. All right, y'all. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take it off. Okay. 
point. Just gonna dip it in there a couple times. Yeah, see these there. Okay. All right, so we gonna get these nails out, which I should have done already. So here we go. We're gonna get this poly gel. All right, let me open this up. Okay, it says squeeze a small head of poly gel onto the tip of your spatula. All right. I think that's good. So we'll sit this here and then wipe poly gel hair from the spatula onto the tip of the dual form. Brush the poly gel into the shape that you want them to be. Make sure that there are no air bubbles distributed and make sure the poly gel is even all right y'all this part is a little weird for me but we're gonna go with it mm -hmm. and i don't really like my nails too long mm -hmm. I don't know if I put enough on here. I don't know about this, y'all. But we gonna try it. Okay. Let's see. All right. And then, sit that there. And then it says, starting at the cuticle Firmly press the dual form onto your nail and cure for 30 seconds. So we're gonna sit this here. All right. Um, hmm. All right. I'm trying to push down firmly on here. I don't know about this, y'all. This look. Oh. It's like coming up. Okay, so firmly. So I told y'all these fat nails. I don't know how this gonna work. Oh, it's sliding off, y'all. Okay, we gonna um we gonna try this again, cause no, this all on my nail, y'all. Oh, okay. Um. All right, we're going to try this again. We're going to get some of the gel. I'm going to put a little bit more because that wasn't enough for me. So, I got big fat nails. And I don't know if that's too much or what, but I know this slid clean off my hand. We're going to get some more, y'all. Like the shaping part didn't seem too hard. It's just the getting it to stick on the nail. I don't know if I did it wrong or what, but I'm trying to get it spread evenly and I don't know if this is right or I don't know. We don't see y'all. Cause like I said, it's my first time doing this, so. I don't know if I got too much on her or what. Because I know before, when I just did it, it didn't seem like it was enough. It slid clean off my hand, as y'all can see. All right, we're going to try this again. See, it's starting from the cuticle. Firmly press down. Okay. Now, that seemed like it stuck that time. But it's a little mook on the outside. We're going to... Wipe some of that off. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. But y'all know, I'm finna go ahead and cure this. 
So the 30 seconds is given. I don't, I don't know if I like this, y'all. So I told y'all, my little fat thumb is coming right on up. We gonna, we gonna go ahead and try this. This is trial and error, and I'm not liking it. All right, so it's been 30 seconds, and it says starting from the cuticle, firmly remove. So I'm pressing on it, and it's supposed to come up. Okay, one side came up. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I told y'all this. Oh my god, what the heck? I'm gonna make. I'm gonna work it out. We just gonna move on to the next nail. <laughs> All right. So look at that, y'all. That looks stupid. All right, it could be, it's just my fat nail. Don't, I ain't gonna get discouraged. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep on going. So, we gonna get, we gonna try this one. All right. Start from, start from here. Put the little gel right there. Get some alcohol. And spread it evenly. And of course, since we're gonna shape the nails out once we get finished. I guess you don't have to be too focused on the tip. You just gotta make sure it's distributed evenly. And I don't think this is. So we're gonna try to all right. Okay looks evenly distributed I think let me pull this one up some more all right hopefully this one goes better y'all okay so firmly press it onto the nail all right I'm gonna cure it that don't look that don't look evenly Ugh, mm -mm. this is this is not as easy as they say y'all i gotta do some more distributing because the first one was too thin i gotta start putting more on there thinking that's what i failed the first time so i'm putting some more on there So let's try this again. Putting it onto the nail, starting from the cuticle, firmly press down. I'm not liking this, y'all. Mm -mm. Yeah. Cut this mess off. I mean, it seems pretty hard. You just gotta get some practice in, I guess. Three hours late, though. Hey, y'all. So. 
it's been, I think maybe four hours or three. I don't know. But uh, this poly stuff is not easy. Um, this is an end result. So it's not bad. I'm going to polish over these. But the process was too long. Like it, the nails that came with it was not sticking. So I had to get some other nails that I had that I use for my, when I do my acrylics, but I didn't like it. It's much easier to do the dip nail. Um, like I said, it took four hours. This is supposed to be um, better than acrylic and um, the dip nail. I do not recommend these. I would say it would take a professional to do these nails. I myself, I'm not a professional. I've um, never been to school to get do my nails, but I know how to do acrylic and I know how to do the dip nail. This, this was a struggle, 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 struggle. So I would recommend doing the dip nail if you're really not experienced. And I could do a video on um, doing a dip nail, but this poly nail, no. Um. I don't know, maybe it was the uh, brand that I used because like I said, this is from China off of Facebook. So I don't know if it was just the experience I had with this product or maybe it's a better product out there. If y'all know a better um, poly nail product, leave it in the comments or something because I was really like rooting for this and it just didn't work out how I wanted it to work out. Like I'm the queen of quick fix because I don't have that much time. So anything I can put in my time to, I guess, shorten it and still get the same results as it was uh, for like hours, that's what I like to do. But this was not it, this wasn't hitting. So, I mean, mm, they was thin. I did a couple of them double layer which it don't say that in the rule in the um directions that i saw because even there like i had to look up my own directions on like youtube or something but i didn't like it i don't i don't like it it's it's much easier to do something else but if y'all got any tips and maybe because like i said i had never tried this before never used it so i don't know if i was doing anything wrong um but let me know, um, give me some tips, some pointers of what y'all use, if y'all do use poly nail. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm really disappointed because I love doing my nails and, um, this just didn't, this just didn't work out for me how I wanted it to. So, all right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. So if you like the channel, like and subscribe, and I will have more Facebook tries coming up. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.